Hello everyone, I am Dr. Indrima and I welcome you to this video where I will be discussing about the colleges of MD Pathology and because I am from West Bengal, so I will be able to tell about those colleges much more in detail but I will also give you an overview of the other colleges in India. I will put forward a list of colleges which are supposedly one of the best colleges and for deemed universities I have collected one list which is obviously from the uh, internet sources only. So from Tamil Nadu, CMC Velour, Madras Medical College, Stanley and Sri Ramchandran. From Karnataka, Bangalore Medical College, St. John's, these are the two top colleges. From Uttar Pradesh, King George Medical University and SGPIMS. Uh, now uh, there is one point which I want to clarify and tell you that whenever you go for any college, then if there are some fellowship options which are there just after completing your MD, then you should opt for that particular colleges. Because there are some colleges which do offer fellowships and obviously for fellowships, the internal candidates will automatically get more preference. So when you are searching for colleges, also make sure that there are very few colleges, especially in the autonomous institutes only, those fellowship options are available. And if you are going for autonomous institutions, then also make sure that you search for for the fellowship options which is present there so that just after completion of your MD you can directly do a fellowship it could be an advantage for you so SGPIMS for that matter is better because fellowship options are there from Maharashtra KEM is there and Tata Memorial Hospital now regarding Tata Memorial Hospital and also about the uh, Tata Memorial Hospital at Kolkata uh, wherever it is I would want to stress upon a point that Tata Memorial uh, Hospital uh, mainly deals with oncopathology we know and sometimes we do get confused that if it is only oncopathology then are we only learning cancers are we not learning benign lesions or other avenues of pathology then i will tell you that no see uh, if a patient comes to you with let's say a thyroid mass then it it is not always that it will turn out to be a cancer whenever a patient will come let's say tata memorial hospital he doesn't know whether he has cancer or not so if he is having a benign lesion you do get opportunity to see that as well and also you will be posted at other uh, you know institutes and medical colleges for uh, dealing with the benign and the non neoplastic lesions as well so do not get into the idea that I will only learn oncopathology. As a nahi hota hai, aapke baas kaafi saare options bhi hote hai. You will learn the entire pathology. Wo log aapko posting bhi kahi na kahi de dega taaki aap pura pathology ko learn kar lo. So Tata Memorial Hospital is a very good option. You will also get fellowship options over there just after completing it. So it will be a good option for you, okay? Uh, from Telangana, uh, Nizams Institute and Osmani Medical College. From Orisha Ames, obviously from Central Institute. Now for Deem University, you can see that there is a list provided here. Please uh, pause the video and go through this list because I personally don't have much knowledge about deemed universities. I got this from the internet and obviously this is from a trusted source. So you can see that uh, the fee structure is also mentioned. So uh, out of this, I will say that KMC Manipal is one of the best institute for deemed. Now coming to uh, the most important section and that is the colleges of Kolkata where I'll be talking about the individual colleges in detail. Let me give you an idea that in Kolkata, the topmost college is IPGMAR, uh, which is it's a scheme hospital. Because over there, the academics is very, very strong. Also, the opportunities and the techniques, the advancements in pathology are very much available there. So you get to learn a lot more. And also, I have heard that, yes, you can sit with your faculties and learn these are the reviews that i've got obviously i myself have not visited this scheme but what the reviews are that it is the academic is very strong and uh, obviously whatever advancements come in pathology you will get everything in ss scheme in that college there is always a very systematic approach of everything it is a very meticulous department so uh, the, the reports that is dispatched are also printed over there so uh, the first years they have to uh, work a little more and so the working hours are almost till uh, let's say uh, six seven eight like that but they are comparatively longer than other medical colleges there are lots of work over there because everything that uh, is there in sskm is top notch uh, at the same time i would say that over there when you're assigned one unit you will remain in that unit for the entire duration of three years which is not so in my college i am from rjgar medical college and here Every three months or every two months, our units are rotated. So uh, we get to work with every faculty and therefore there is always a mutual, you know, uh, understanding and cooperation between all the units. You can go up to any unit and ask anybody. You can see any slide. So that openness and that cooperation is always there in my college. And therefore the environment of my college is much better. And also the working hours of Archikar is up to 5 p.m., which is supposedly from 9.30 to 5. 
uh, apart from that nrs medical college and uh, medical college kolkata are also very good hematology departments are there so uh, that is an added advantage for those colleges uh, pathology for all the colleges are almost same because there is always a question that you have to learn yourself the more you have to read and details and again see slides and that's it but yes if we talk about the academics and the other advancements then yes ipgmr is the best but it is also accompanied by long working hours and pertaining to one unit always you know that openness is somewhere uh, compromised there so these are the pros and cons of pathology in different colleges apart from that in west bengal we also have shakodatta medical college and calcutta national medical college which are also good but the other colleges are usually given more preference but i also heard like uh, because i have a friend in shakodatta so over there also they are learning really really well so you can't compare like that because every college is good even they are also get, getting a lot of exposure and obviously in medical colleges where the patient load the case load is more you get more slides and you will get the more exposure to learn better things now similar points to consider if you are choosing tata memorial hospital because don't think that only oncopathology is there obviously you will learn everything over there so it's a very good institute also i want to mention that uh, in some colleges uh, the posting like we have hematology posting cytology posting and histopathology posting all these postings uh, take place on a rotatory basis like 3 months 3 months 3 months like that or 6 months like that but in my college uh, we don't have separate postings like that every day we do all of this like one day we do fnc the next day we do crossing like that so this is pretty much it is not about the postings that you get it is mainly about the amount of knowledge that you are able to gain every single day and you yourself have to put in a lot of efforts to learn this subject so with this we come to the end of this video if you have any personal query you can mention on the comment section below i will meet you very soon in another video if you like my content then please consider subscribing thank you for watching